Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a junior junior year experience video also with tips and tricks how to subs how to survive junior year. So I'm going to be telling you guys my experiences first and then telling you guys advice after. So if you guys see the same setup, the same hair, the same outfit or whatever, I just filmed a video on where I've been for the last two months. So without further ado, let's get started. If you are an upcoming junior, get that grind on. You know, if you automatically push yourself to the max, you need to push yourself 200 times. 200 times more. You need to have a support system that... Or just a support system friends family mostly friends because they're the ones going to school with you so when they said junior year was going to be hard it was hard so get your popcorn out so it's going to be a treat be but without further ado let's get on to the video so my experience with junior year <sighs> honestly a scale of 1 to 10, it's going to be about a 6.5. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that bad. But, I'm going to be telling you guys some tips first. Now, I'm going to tell you guys some my experience first. So, junior year, take took some classes. Took some, like, I took all the classes I needed to take because I didn't know I was behind. Just, you know, you don't know make sure you guys look at your grades um i just you know grind to the fullest asked questions i did really good on tests and quizzes did all my homework on sunday because sunday was the day i was going to be more productive during the week i gave myself friday night off i gave myself saturday night off and i just grind from about 11 30 in the morning to Nine at night, just grinding on my homework, you know, eight exercise or whatever I need to do. And then I'm back on Monday doing all my work. I did all my homework to pass in extra credit and stuff like that. So, um, later in this video, I'm going to tell you guys some tips and tricks how to succeed in the new year. Um, you know, I remember school becomes, um, school comes before sports. I always find myself doing very very good when it is not the off season it's on season with your sport and you just push yourself even more to do better because if you have a 65 in one of those classes then you're automatically off the team for about a couple of months or whatever the coach wants to you know um school was not just about the school it was about the social aspect as well social aspect but for teachers for um, friends, family, and whatever you wanted. Um, whatever you wanted in life has to be social first. You need, in high in junior year, you need to be very social. You need to be either with your coworkers that you work at, um, whatever you, wherever you work at, you need to be social with people that are in your school, such as friends and teachers as well. Teachers are a very main source and they will get you there. You need to talk to your teachers, um, before you leave about AP classes and stuff you're going to be taking next year. Even though they say you're not ready for AP classes, push yourself. You know you're going to do better in AP class because it's more higher but my experience there was some drama there was some ups and there was some downs there was a lot of dramas um but I still try to keep keep strong there was a lot of times where I cried for like about five minutes and then it stopped but just kept grinding never ever I never ever once counted down the days of how many school how many school days I had left until when it came to June which we're in now but um, junior year was a whirlwind. I tried to spend as much time with my friends as I, um, as I could because your friends are one of your largest support systems and hanging out with your friends can be very, very helpful and very mentally, um, mentally satisfying because you are hanging out with people you love and just 
shutting your brain down, you know, putting your phone away for a couple hours and just having real nice talks with your friends. So now I'm going to be telling you guys the tips and tricks of you guys being success successful in junior year. So number one is to talk to teachers. Talk to teachers. They want to help you as much as you want to help yourself. So they want you to succeed and stuff like that. Like I was saying, take the hardest classes senior year. Um, junior year is kind of a year to relax or something or repent on your first two years and just see where you went wrong those first two years and kind of you know re re rehabilitate yourself such as um getting those credits in that you need and take and actually overdoing your credits if you need one tech one tech cold tech credit take one and a half tech credits because you might need that in the long run you just need that extra that will be in the waste basket for now but you want to have extra credits for your year because when it comes to tallying up your years and tallying up how many um credits you have you need tech credits and art credits and stuff like that in order to graduate from your high school second is to um be social be social with your teachers be social with your friends your family and stuff like that make sure you are social with my your teachers first of how many what kind of grades you guys want to um what kind of grades grade level you want to accomplish do not be afraid to level up in a class do not be a lit um don't be afraid to double up on a class and don't be afraid to take an extra class basically doubling up a class um make sure you guys take the extra step on doing homework that is basically the social part of being school. Ask your teacher for extra credit. Pass an extra credit if you're not so, um, if you're not so close to the teacher. Ask for extra credit because you never know that could help you in the long run. Do extra credit. I try to do as much extra credit opportunities as I can for the teachers that I needed. All the teachers, all the class I had 70s, I have now high 70s in the classes. Lowest grade is about 77 right now. But, you know, I just took those extra credit opportunities. Underneath being social is being social with your friends. See how many classes you have with your friends. And, and class with your friends could be very, um, they could be very motivating because you're taking class with your friends, you have the same exact teacher. Just because you don't have the same class with them, they have the same teacher as you in the same subject. So you can kind of ask them questions and um, say, hey, you want to do a study group on um, Saturday? That's a very, very good, do a couple of hours in your day just to do homework with them and be social with your parents because your parents are one of your biggest support systems ever make sure you guys ask them for college advice um what kind of colleges you want to visit during spring break or the summer break whenever you see fit next is to is to take risks basically taking risk means that doing an extra assignment probably you're not going to do as well on it but make sure you take risk on that aspect so you're probably saying kirsten what if i do don't do good on a test that i retook and i did better on the first try even though i failed it's just all about the experience because you don't know if it's going to be the on the a um psat sat or whatever such thing like that the most stressful thing ever was those report cards and, and um, progress reports coming in you see your growth make sure you see every make sure you check your account or whatever my school uses renweb make sure you guys use your renweb account or google docs or google classroom whatever you use make sure you check your grades every single week or every um other week or every two weeks or every three weeks or whatever or every month check your grades frequently to see where you stand and if you if you put an extra credit assignment um if you gave your teacher an extra credit assignment and you and the teacher's like yeah i'm gonna put it in the computer right now and you see it's not added say hey just refresh your page if you don't see it added like hey you didn't add it i thought you were supposed to add it and 
just do things like that talk to your teachers about extra credit opportunities and stuff like that when needed and don't think that what for one second extra credit asking a teacher for extra credit is overdue or overrided or makes you look dumb because it does not like make you look dumb you just want to improve yourself especially in a subject that you're going to major in in college makes you do very good in that um in that spectrum and for my school we had advisory programs so basically advisory is meeting up with a teacher that you um wanted and they're basically telling you guys a college checklist like getting your SATs done, PSATs done, visiting colleges, applying to colleges, early admissions, um, you know, community colleges, alternative colleges, big schools, small schools, um, class rankings and stuff like that and college requirements. You need all that stuff. They will make sure you know all your account emails, all your passwords, because I have two emails, four accounts active, four passwords active, four usernames active, and um, those are basically all my school-related things. So, um, what classes I'm taking in, because I said it in the last video, I'm going to tell you guys what kind of classes I'm taking. I already know six of my classes I'm taking. I'm taking advanced math topics. Um, AP government, English stage film or something like that, um, social justice, I think, theology or whatever, and then sports communication. So I'm so excited, especially for the sports communication. I took all of my classes that I, all my credits I need, I took two art credits, two, um, one and a half tech credits. And I'm so excited because I got all my credits done junior year and kind of grinded. So, um, I'm doing all my wasted class, all my extra classes I want to take this, this year. I'm taking AP government because I'm really interested in politics and government as well. I took a government class, level two government class, um, sophomore year. So it's kind of exciting. I wanted to be a lawyer at first, but I was like, no. I want to be do sports communication or whatever but um it's very interesting to me just the um you know being a sports broadcaster or commentator or something i just really like that so i'm just taking that class and i'm so excited so my tip my tricks for this year is study for everything study for everything even though if it's like a spelling quiz and you know and you know everything study for it because it's going to be very good very positive in the long run because if you don't study you're, you're gonna forget or whatever second of all don't be in the dust update your parents how update your parents on um, how you're doing in school um, take those couple of days Friday and Saturday night to be for yourself um, there's once in a while, um, especially in 2018, during the first half of junior year, I hung out with my friends and stuff like that, and that was on the weekends and stuff, and that was rarely because I kind of wanted some days to myself, either went shopping or just stayed in the house, exercised, worked out, meditated, prayed, whatever the case may be, I just hung it out with my, hung out with myself or with my friends when I wanted to. And then, um, sports aspects. Guys, I'm going to be filming a video after this, how to be a varsity athlete, how to kick your, kick your tail off and be a very good varsity athlete. So these are my tips and, tips and tricks for being a junior in high school. It depends on all different high schools. You can take this advice with a grain of salt, but... This was my experience in high school, junior year. I'm three-fourths of a way done with high school. And um, I'm going to be co visiting colleges this summer, so I'm so excited. Make sure you guys want to college, college um, search process or whatever. If you guys want a college video coming soon, if you guys want a college vlog, me visiting some colleges, my feedback and stuff like that. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. I love you guys so much.